Okay, what is going on guys? It is Fernan here. Welcome back to another Rocket League car design episode. And in today's episode, we're gonna be doing car designs with the brand new BMW 1 Series. This is the tier one version, not the RLE edition that will be very shortly here. But um, we do have the normal version here. And as always, whenever we do a specific car design, we always like to do two decals that are supportive only on the BMW. And then two decals that can be used on any car in the game but it might look a little bit better on the bmw one series now i gotta say there are not many good decals that look good on this bmw one series the rle edition yes some decals do look really good on that one but i will say this first one it was kind of tough to do now please keep in mind as well you can use any car design throughout my entire channel if you want like this is a universal car any decal can be used you know so like if there's like a decal with like a certain decal that you like on my other car design episode you could put that on here if you want to so i just wanted to give that out this is a universal car but yeah anyway make sure to use code sportan11 in the item shop and hit that subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest rocket league videos so let's get started with the first car design of the episode. Starting off, we do have the Forest Green BMW 1 Series for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the BMW 1 Series painted orange. For the decal for both sides, it is the stripes decal that comes with the BMW. Remember, we're going to be using two designs that are just for the BMW themselves. And then two designs that are going to be like universal decals, like something like this or something. So this is the stripes one. For the colors, for the primary of the blue side, we do have a forest green with the accent as black. And then for the primary of the orange side, we have a orange with the accent as black. For the paint finish, for both the blue and the orange side and the primary and the accent, we do have Tune Map. For the wheels, they are the brand new wheels that actually are in this Rocket Pass. The full chrome wheels painted orange for the orange side. And then for the blue side, they are the forest green full chrome wheels. Now again, these are available in this Rocket Pass. So this is kind of like a design that you can actually do from the Rocket Pass itself. Don't worry, we will probably do Rocket Pass design specifically, but... This is pretty cool nonetheless. But anyway, this is the blue side here. And this is just something super clean. I felt these full chrome wheels were super clean looking. And as you can see, this is definitely a try hard slash clean design. Not much to say than the other than it looks phenomenal. You can do a little bit of a darker green as well. But either way, these two colors will work really good. I kind of do like that darker forest green a little bit there. And then for the orange side here, we got that orange and black color combination. By far one of my favorite color combinations in the game whenever I'm using the orange side with a clean design. For the boost, we do have the standard unpainted for the blue side. And then or for the orange side, this is for the orange side. And then for the um, blue side here, we do have the standard green. Now, these were free. They were legacy items. Um, I'm not sure how you can obtain them now, um, but yeah, they were free items. So again, something that you can use when doing, you know, like, you know, like Rocket Pass designs here. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, it is the Hacksworth 3 painted forest green for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the Hacksworth 3 painted orange. So this is the blue side here, or this is the orange side here. Again, beautiful color combination with the orange and black with that two matte paint finish. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, matching the full chrome wheels perfectly. And then same for the blue side here, we do have the forest green and black color combination with the tune matte paint finish. Again, just look looking absolutely very clean on this BMW 1 series. So getting into the next car design, we do have the Marge Shard decal. Now, like I said earlier, there are not many decals that I think personally look very good on the BMW 1 series. But again, please keep in mind, I was trying to choose decals that look the best on this specific car. So again, you can use any decal in any of my design videos that you might think look really good on the BMW. Whenever I do this, I think, oh, it does this look good on the BMW? You know, stuff like that. So that's why I don't just do like, you know, the same design over and over again for every car. Starting off, we do have the BMW 1 Series painted crimson for both sides. For the decal for both sides, it is the unpainted Mard Shard, all the way back from like season seven or S7. Um, for the colors for the prime of the blue side, we do have a blue with the accent as crimson. And then for the prime of the orange side, we do have a crimson with the accent as a very, very light blue. For the wheels, for both sides, they are the uh, Tibutani crystallized wheels 
from the same season now i actually really liked the way this decal looked on this uh bmw one series car and i thought it looked absolutely fantastic with the debutani crystallized wheels since they match so perfectly in game to begin with now the reason why i chose the crimson car body instead of the cobalt one is because the crimson actually matches the colors of the crimson whenever i did a cobalt bmw let me show you it kind of just doesn't look very good whatsoever as you can see there it just doesn't match so that's why i decided to do crimson for both sides because at least there it matches very nicely and then same for this orange side here this is actually one of my favorite sides i love the way the crimson and the blue kind of come together on this side for some reason on this side it doesn't look as good but for this side looks absolutely fantastic and i think it actually does look really good on the bmw for the boost we do have the ion unpainted for both sides i decided to do the ion unpainted because i thought the blue you know looked pretty good and the ion matched very nicely so again two clean designs right off the bat uh, for the trail here, we do have the Hacksworth 3 painted crimson for both sides. Now, the reason why I chose crimson is because it seems to be that crimson is just kind of lingering around that entire wheel. Now, you can do an ion red for both sides if you really would like to. Um, ion red would go, obviously go very well with the crimson Hacksworth 3, but I felt like when it came to the trail with wheels wise, crimson always just stays in that bottom part. So I felt like that was a little bit more fitting, but again, you can do a crimson ion and a crimson hacksaw three for both sides if that is something that you would like to do so this is the orange side again i absolutely love the way this just matches and looks together um that crimson and blue plays together so nicely to really kind of describe it and it matches the wheels perfectly and this blue side don't get me wrong it does still look really good uh the blue and the crimson absolutely looks fantastic but for some reason i love this orange side a lot better but yeah getting into the next car design we do have the you know how I said that there weren't very good BMW decals out there when it came to just like base decals? Let me show you what we're kind of working with here, right? So I tried to do flames, lightning, wings, and then obviously we already did stripes and you know I don't like to do the same decal twice over again. But I just did not like the look of any of these like wings or like flames or lightning or wings. So I decided to do no decal. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I legitimately decided to do no decal on this design because I thought it looked absolutely better without a decal. So starting off, we do have the BMW 1 Series painted purple for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the BMW 1 Series painted pink. This looks really good. I love the way this looks. There is no decal for the BMW on this one. This is entirely based off of paint finishes. I actually prefer this with the BMW 1 Series unless you're using stripes, which you can use stripes if you really want to, if you like the looks of the stripes um, and you don't want to do the first design. You can definitely do stripes for this one. I'm not going to lie. It still does look very, very good, if not actually better. But if, you know, I just try not to do the same design twice. That's what it looks like without. Stripes does give it a little bit more of, as you can see, a little bit of a difference there when you put on a decal versus when you don't put on a decal. But um, if you do actually want to match the Sentios, they actually look a little bit better because with no decal, there's more black in the design versus when you do stripes. It kind of takes that all away. So very interesting on that one. For the colors, for the primary of the blue side, we do have a purple with the accent as a very light pink. For the primary for the orange side, we do have a dark pink with the accent as a light pink for the paint finishes it's supposed to see uh both supposed to see pearlescent matte for both sides so for the primary and the accent for both the blue and the orange side it is pearlescent matte and that is how it gets kind of this type of style now for the wheels we do have the sentio wheels painted purple for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the sentio wheels painted pink now the main reason why i love doing this type of design i did this a very long time uh, long time ago when i created a video called no decal design i know a little little weird but it actually came out one of like this one actually looks really good um the reason why i chose the dark purple and the light purple is because as you can see in the middle part of the sentio wheels it's got that very light purple and that's something that i wanted to mimic very nicely and i gotta say it does look really good and very clean around the car and then for the orange side here we have that dark pink with that light pink again same kind of style here i wanted to match the sentio wheels the main color and then the brighter pink on the outside which does a very good job and again with no decal the sentio wheels don't have much like they have that third color as black no decal actually provides that third color here at the top 
versus when you do put a decal, it kind of takes it away. So pretty cool. For the boost, we do have the ion. Oh, <laughs> we do have the ion painted pink for the orange side. And then for the boost side, it is the ion painted purple. Again, super clean, matches the Sentio wheels actually really nicely for both sides too. I mean, if you take a look at it, it really matches that brightness very well. For the trail, we do have the Hackswerve 3 painted pink for the orange side. And then for the boost side, it is the Hackswerve 3 painted purple. So very clean on that one. So this is the orange side. And like I said, I didn't like too many decals on the BMW 1 Series. Now, for the BMW RLE edition, that's going to change. I think there's some really good decals for that one. Um, but we do have a beautiful pearlescent matte, no decal required. And I think it actually looks a lot better with the Sentio wheels when it comes to no decal. And then for this blue side here, we have that purple and light purple color combination, which is my favorite side. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. And yeah. Anyway, getting into the last and final car design of the episode, we do have the luster edge decal now obviously a little bit more of a flashy design but to be honest with you luster edge looks good on almost every single car because of the way that it looks so starting off we do have the four screen bmw one series for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the sky blue bmw one series for the decal for both sides it is the unpainted luster edge decal for the colors, for the primary of the blue side, we do have a forest green with the accent as a pink. And then for the primary of the orange side, we have a crimson with the accent as sky blue. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the Infinium wheels painted crimson. And then for the blue side, they are the Infinium wheels painted forest green. Now, I absolutely love using the Infinium wheels with the Luster Edge decal. It's got to be one of my favorites just because of how good it looks. The colors look fantastic together. It's got kind of that pearlescent matte style to it and i gotta agree the bmw actually does look pretty good with the luster edge decal but like i said a little bit earlier every de every car looks pretty good on the luster edge but yeah we have that forest green and pink color combination looking absolutely fantastic and then for the orange side here we do have a beautiful crimson and sky blue color combination always looking fantastic now i decided to actually use the accent color as the sky blue bmw one series on this side because i thought it actually played a little bit better than the crimson one i felt like the crimson one stood out a little bit but the sky blue one blends in very nicely for the boost we do have the ion pink Painted sky blue for the orange side again staying with that accent color theme and then for the orange side or for the blue side it is actually the ion pink again staying with the um accent theme now you can do an ion green for this side if you want to match the primary and then same for the blue side here you can choose an ion red if you want to stay with that primary color so it really is up to you if you want to do ion sky blue or ion red for to match the primary or the accent it really doesn't matter and the same for the orange side here you can match the accent color or the primary color but Please keep in mind, when you use the trail, make sure to keep it consistent here. We have the Haxor 3 painted pink for the blue side. And then for the orange side here, it is actually the Force or the Sky Blue Haxor 3. Again, keeping it consistent. If you decide to do the Ion Red um, for the boost, then make sure you do the Ion Crimson or the Haxor 3 painted crimson to keep that same kind of colors going, you know, because then it would look a little bit weird if you had like, you know, Ion Sky Blue with hacks or three painted crimson it just wouldn't look as good so make sure you either stay with the primary color or the accent color i stood with the accent color i thought it looked a little bit better um so yeah this is the orange side like i said i love the crimson and black or uh, crimson and sky blue color combination i think it looks absolutely fantastic um and like i said any really car looks really good on the luster edge decal it's got to be one of the most underrated decals in my opinion it looks good on almost everything and then for the blue side here we have that beautiful forest green and pink color combination absolutely looks fantastic here i must say so so definitely a huge fan of this one. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these car designs, what you guys think of the BMW 1 series. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.